In this video, I'll show you how to create short form video content using CapCut. I'll go over how to add captions, add animations, B-rolls, and everything else you need to know. Let's take a look at what the final video looks like. If you want to grow a following on social media, there's only four content types that actually work. Content that entertains you, content that motivates you, content that either shares or disputes your opinions, or content that provides value to you, which is what I try to do. It's even better if you could do a mixture of these four. If you could do that, your audience will definitely grow itself. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, so first step, you go to new project. You start a new project here. And then you simply import the file that you want to edit. Okay, and then you just simply drag the file onto the timeline. So this is where you can do all the editing easily. So there's the raw video footage that I have recorded. And the first step is to cut out any white space or dead space. So I would expand the clip and you could easily see from the timeline where the pauses are. So when you see like this is empty, that's where the pauses are. So I would just cut that out. You can press B and then you get like a tool here and then you can just cut out the space. Press A for select and then just come here, right click and delete or press the delete button. And if you make a mistake, just press Control or Command Z to undo and to go back to the previous step. So I would just cut this again. So this is the playhead and instead of you can either drag it with your mouse or you can just press the arrow left and right to go to the each of the specific frame to get a more accurate cutting. And at any point, you can always zoom in. So I press Command or Control plus sign or Command and Control minus sign to zoom out because when you zoom in you're able to kind of expand the pauses to get a more accurate precise cutting okay so after you finish cutting all the pauses and dead spaces to generate the captions all you got to do is come to the text tab on top here and go to auto captions you can select the respective language that you want to generate the captions press create and it will automatically generate the captions CapCut makes it super easy to generate captions automatically, so this is all you got to do. And then as you can see... If you want to grow a following on social media, there's only four content types that actually work. And it's created. What I like to do is I like to insert what's called the Ray Hollister safe area. So this is a, a safe area that you could find. So your text or any editing that you do won't overlap any of the social media buttons that already exist on the respective platforms. So you can just Google Ray Hollister safe area and come to this page and then you'll be able to just download the template to use. So this one that I am using, it's the gray area. So you can just type in safe image and I already saved one, save, and then you can just drag this into CapCut. There we go, you see how that's the template that you could use. So I like to put it on the very top. Now to change the font or the style of the text, all you got to do is just come here, click on one. And when you check apply to all, it will apply to all of the text in the video. So feel free to look at other fonts too. You know, you I think it's great to develop your own style and not just use what everybody else is using. But if you like the, you know, Alex Homozy style type of font, then you could download a font named the bold font. I'll show you. So you can just Google the bold font, uh, CapCut download, you can just come to this website here and then just download the font. Just click download and then you'll be able to download the font. Download and then just open and the font will get installed. There we go. All right, so next we're gonna work on the font. You can move the playhead to see the different fonts. So let's say if you want to adjust this one, you move the playhead here. So this is the font, the bold font. Font size, I'm using 13. So you can also move the position here. So how you move the position is you could either just drag this or you could adjust the X and Y axis as well as rotating. If you want a certain angle, you can rotate or you can use this to rotate. These are the settings I'm using. And if you want to add a background, you can. I don't, so I'm going to leave it off. You can also add glow if you want. I want to keep it simple. So shadow opacity, I put it at 80. Blurriness, I put 33. Distance is 8 and angle is 45. 
So as you scroll, there's different sizes of the text. So all I do is just come here and adjust the angle and the size on the top and also the color. So you can change the color, right? And then you can also change the size, font size. Okay. This one, I want a different size of the letter. So I simply just highlight the text that I want to have a different size and then adjust from here. So next we can add some emoji. So all you got to do is come to Emojipedia and just search up an emoji. And let's say I want to use this one. Just click on this and then click on this and then just save image as and pretty much just drag the PNG here and then you can just drag it onto the timeline and then resize it and then you can position it where you want it to be and then just align it to the text get more in the middle so I would say right here and let's say I want a cell phone okay save this image and same thing just drag this into here and then just drag this onto the timeline to find different graphics you can also use canva canva is also a really good resource to find different graphics so simply just go to elements and search the relevant graphics you'll be able to generate these in pngs and to be able to use them in your video editing and just drag the file into this area and bingo so i like this eyes over here All right, so next we are going to add some animation to the text and to the emoji or image. So all you got to do is come to the text, select the text that you want to add the animation and come to the animation tab. And uh, some of the few that is good to add in typically is bounce in is good. That's what it looks like. Currently it has, I believe, a slide right. If you want to grow a following on So that's a slide right animation. So you can select slide right and then uh, you can select how fast you want the animation want that was at point two so as you can see the emoji i also want it at point two with the same animation so it matches if you want to grow yeah so you can just play around with it and see which animation you like um, zoom in is also a good one so just select either the image or emoji or the text and then you could just select and play with the animation to come up with your own style Next thing is we can add some sound effects. So simply come to the audio on the top and come to sound effects and then just search like a sound. I searched a wish sound. Yeah, so let's say that's a wish sound that I want to add. Just simply just drag it onto the timeline. I like it to put it on the bottom. Okay, maybe a little bit louder. So maybe I want it to be at 15. Okay. If you want to grow a following on and there are a bunch of sound effects that you could choose from. Uh, basically, there's like a whole list of sound effects that you can use. So um, yeah, just feel free to come here as well and kind of explore what you can use. You can preview it by clicking this icon for each of the sound effects. And then when you want to use it, just simply drag and drop onto your timeline. Okay, for B-rolls, you can come to the website called pixels.com. You can just search either photo or video and type in the keyword to search. Let's say social media. This is a video. So I like to filter. And since this is a short video, so it will be a vertical orientation. This one looks pretty good. I think this one will look good for us. So you can just download this and for you. So pixels.com you know, provides these images or videos for you to use uh, without any copyright. So you can freely download them to use in your videos. Simply also drag it to your timeline. You can place it, let's say over here. Okay, so to get like a clip like this, how I do it is I download this 4K video downloader, and then you simply go copy and paste the URL of the YouTube videos that you want to extract that clip from. Now, to my best knowledge, this is considered fair use if you just use um, you know, a couple seconds of the clip and then you make it your own, you know, you give your own spin to it. So just pick one video you think you can get a good clip from. So let's do this one. And just copy this link and copy it and paste it into the downloaded I showed you right here. Paste link. 
and it'll automatically download into your folder. Okay, and then I like to show in folder. So here we go. I have the folder here and simply just drag and drop this again into the timeline. I like to just disable the sound and find a good clip. And then you can also add a transition in between clips. So I'll show you an example. So let's say if I want to add a transition here between the clips. So let's say if I want to add this and just drag this here. And then I'm going to add the same thing here. And for the music in the background, you can come to the audio section and come to music and then you can pick any of these like music according to the genre for myself i use epidemic sound that's just uh, something that i use and i have subscription to it's a monthly paid subscription with it it's super cool you can literally find any high quality music and sound effects on there so that's what i use myself but if you want to go the free route then you can always just come here and use the music here or use the music on the you know specific social media platform. So if you use Instagram, just go to you know Instagram and see what's trending or what matches you know as you post. And um, you know if you use TikTok, obviously just go to browse around TikTok to see you know what would be a good music for you to you know incorporate into your videos.